Hi everyone, April Dipolina here from the Connecticut Family Support Network. I'm here today with Amanda Cullen and she is our music therapist intern. No, art therapist intern. <laughs> We're very fortunate. Um, we have been working with a music therapist and now we've added Amanda who is an art therapist. So welcome Amanda. Uh, I, the, family, the Family Support Network partners with Camp Harkness to run an inclusive play group at Camp Harkness, and it's open to siblings as well as um, children who have disabilities. This, the part that brings us to Amanda is we haven't been able to get back to camp to actually hold our group physically at the camp. So Amanda has agreed to help us do some online crafts and um, different things that we can do at home, but also hopefully you'll be able to bring them to the camp when we can actually meet in person. So today, Amanda's going to show us how to make a rain stick. Go ahead, Amanda. I'll leave it to you. All right. So we'll start by going over the materials that you'll need. Um, ideally, you could use um, one of these like paper towel rolls. Uh, if you don't have that, though, you can use colored paper and you can roll the paper to make the shape of the rain stick. Um, you also need glue, tissue paper, or if you don't have tissue paper, you could use newspaper, but um, also need ribbon to tie the ends, um, rice or beans to make the sounds, um, some pipe cleaners, because these will help slow down the sound of the rain and make it sound more interesting than just putting the rice in. Um, other than that, just colored paper, scissors, and anything you want to decorate with. You can decorate the paper with stamps. I have stamps in front of me. Or you can use paint, crayons, colored pencils, or markers. And you'll simply just decorate the paper before you put it onto your roll here, um, or before you make the roll. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by taking this paper that I've cut to be the same size as the cardboard roll. And we're gonna start by just simply decorating the paper. And I'm gonna take out some stamps here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go in, stamp it on, maybe put a few stickers on here. Sorry, <laughs> my coworkers are in here. And really just decorate it however you want to decorate it. I have a couple of pre-made ones where they're more decorated. You go ahead and put stickers on it. And you can make them bigger or smaller as well, depending on the size of the rolls that you have. So I'm just going to take the paper and flip it over. So we're on the back side of where we put all the decorations. And we're just going to layer it with some glue so that it will stick onto the roll. And that's what the exterior of your rain stick is going to look like. So you want to decorate it to however you like it, really. All right. So I have put my glue on. Now we're going to take the cardboard roll. And we're going to place it just on the edge. So that way you can simply just roll it on. Doesn't have to be completely perfect because tissue paper is going to go over the ends to keep the rice inside. All right. Once I've gotten it rolled like this, I'm just going to make sure that the end is glued down. So I'm going to add some extra glue there. And then we're just going to press it down. And now, if you still want to add any decorations, feel free to go right ahead, but it was easier before to do so. So now we're going to take some tissue paper. I just cut off um, two squares of tissue paper about this size. And what you're going to do is put glue on one of the ends all the way around. So that way the tissue paper is going to stick and fold your rice inside of the rice stick. 
All right. So I'm just gonna place it straight down and wrap my tissue paper on top, just like this. And I like to leave a little bit out just because I think it adds a little bit of a cute flair to it. And you're gonna take your ribbon. I've already pre-cut two pieces, um, just like medium length, nothing too long. And you wanna make sure you have the whole bottom covered with tissue paper. Then you're gonna start to wrap the ribbon around it and tie a nice bow. And you can use whatever color ribbon you want. Uh, you could use string, you could use yarn. It doesn't have to be ribbon. So I've just tied it like this. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take some, I have some minute rice. You know, a lot of people have this in their home or if you have beans, like I said, you could probably use uh, macaroni too. I'm sure it'd make a different sound, but you can really use whatever you have at home. So then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour the rice in. I'm just gonna pour it into my hand first. And you're gonna pour it into the top here, just like that. You can put however much rice you want to. I just like to start with a little bit because we're gonna be adding the pipe cleaners inside to make it have a different sound. So it's not just the rice. Some rain sticks you'll have like sticks in to interrupt the sound. However, we're just gonna use pipe cleaners because that's an easy at home thing we can do. All right, so I've got my rice in there. Now what we're gonna do is I've cut two pieces of pipe cleaner just like this. And I'm going to simply just fold it and make it into a shape like this. Really just something to break up the rice to make it slow it down. That's really what we want here. So it doesn't have to be an exact shape and you're just gonna put it in there with the rice. I'm gonna take the second piece and you can do the same thing. You could twirl it, doesn't matter. You're gonna put it right in. And then I'm gonna add some more rice on top, just a little bit. All right, and then you're gonna take your second piece of tissue paper, should be about the same size as the first piece. And you're just gonna take your glue and glue around the edge here again. All right. Then you're gonna take the tissue paper and go ahead and just apply it on the top there and press it down just like that. All right. Then you're gonna take your second piece of ribbon and you're gonna tie a bow again on the other side. This is gonna close both ends. So after this, you won't be able to add more rice or beans. So make sure you have the amount that you want in there. All right. So now you've got the basic form of your rain stick. The pipe cleaners, they like to break up the sound a little bit. You could use bigger rolls like this one, it has a different sound to it. Or you can make less rice in it, also has a different sound. So that's pretty much the basic way to make a rain stick. You can still add more decorations to it, um, but we hope that you know families will be able to do this at home. Even if you don't have tissue paper, or ribbon, you could use string and newspaper, really just any paper that you have, you could probably make this out of. And so we hope that the kids will bring this in the next time that we meet and we can use them when we do music therapy as well. So that's the rain stick um, craft idea. And I hope that everyone tries it. Hi, everybody. Thank oh, you so great. much, Amanda. That's Vicki, the camp director there, saying hi. We miss all our friends at Playgroup and Camp Harkness. Um, hopefully, we'll be able, maybe next week, to be there in person. You guys who made these can bring your rain sticks. I hope we have lots of different sizes and shapes. 
and we can really use them at the, at the park. If you need any more information about Camp Harkness or if you want a reservation for a, a beach spot or a picnic table, call the camp office at 860-443-7818 or you can email dds.campharkness.ct.gov. Probably the phone is the best way. And um, for information about the Family Support Network or to reach me, you can just Google the Connecticut Family Support Network or April Dipolina at april.dipolina at lmhosp.org. Thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing everyone soon. You as well. Thank you, April. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.